Hallelujah. But by the time they were given, all of them were given to us, by he say, he said, now everybody is out of it. Hallelujah. Every one of it. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. This wave of COVID will be over. You will not be counted among those who were consumed by it. You will tell the story how you survived, how God kept you and every member of your family. In the name of Jesus, so many people have died. So many people have been taken by this, by this plague that have ravaged the whole world. And this COVID one day will end. Am I talking to somebody? We ain't. But those ones will not be alive to say, one time, at a certain time, there was COVID. But you will be alive if Christ arrives. To say, so, so, yeah, COVID-19 came. We all saw it, but I never witnessed it. Hallelujah. I think it should be in the early 90s, I used to, as they started talking about typhoid. Up to today, I've never experienced typhoid. Hallelujah. I've never been, I've never come down with typhoid. I just hear, I don't know how it feels. That will be your portion. In the name of Jesus. What is destroying others will not destroy you. Will not destroy your family. I said will not destroy any member of your family. In the name of Jesus. Literally say, every, say every, every plague. Destroying others shall not destroy me. And, ever, and, every, and any member of my family, in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and we pray. Open your mind and we pray. Le rakapa, inarakapa, japros ketelim bakapa, inereka palakata, shele posekepa. Open your mind and pray. Every prayer plague, every disease, le rapa sekepa, every affliction. That is every plague in the land shall not destroy me and any member of my family. Lift up your voice. I am members of my family are exempted from the destruction of every plague that is in the land. In the name of Jesus, whatever name that is called, lift up your voice and pray. I am members of my family. I exempted. Lift up your voice and pray. Hope you are going to pray and say, Lord, accept me and members of my family from the plague in the land, from any plague that comes to the land. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, Arakapa, Jabroleke Palina Kate. Yes, somebody pray. Le rapa le zene pakapa. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, exempt me and members of my family from the plague that is in the land. What the affliction that is destroying others? Exempt me and members of my family. I can't hear somebody pray. Le rapa le zeke pa. Me le poseke pakapa. Lift up your voice and pray. Le rapa le zeke pa. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Whatever is destroying others will not destroy you. I say will not destroy you and any member of your family. In the name of Jesus. Lift up and say, Father, thank you for going ahead of me this year to exempt me and members of my family from every evil. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you pray that prayer, let me hear loud. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You and members of your family shall be exempted from calamity that is befalling the land. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In your dwelling place, in the name of Jesus, I pray no calamity because you are there. We before that land. We before that neighborhood. In the name of Jesus. The evil that others suffer, you will not suffer it. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will build a hedge run about you. Run about you and members of your family. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You may be seated very briefly. 
and turn with me to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. Today we'll be looking at breaking financial habit. I mean financial hardship. Hallelujah. It's a mount of divine promotion. The mount of promotion. One of the things that can easily promote a man, that can easily change a man's level, change a, anybody's level, it is money. Somebody say money. Hallelujah. There are a certain amount of money that comes into your into your life that no matter how much you have it will it will shift your level up glory to god hallelujah money has a way of causing instant lifting upon the man upon anybody lift you up from wherever you are to another level instantly hallelujah and that's why god was speaking to them the Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, it said, Remember, remember that I'm he that giveth the power to make wet. Say, do not forget that I'm the one that giveth the power to make wet. That means you need power to make wet. That means it takes hard work for wet to come. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, if it takes power to make wet, that means it must have been, it must be a very difficult task. It must be, it must require really hard exercise, hard work for, 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 for wet to be the portion of anybody. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus that God will give you power to make wet, to break every hardship. In the name of Jesus. So making words that can lead to instant promotion requires hard work and favor. Because hard work without result is hardship. Hard work without what? Result is hardship. Too many people work hard, but they don't get desire words that they are working for. It's not everybody that work hard that ever get wet, that ever had wet. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So hard work, the children of Israel, while they were in Egypt, throughout the period of their slavery and their oppression, the Bible said there arose a king that no know Joseph. And he said to the people, say, come, let us deal with these people with, let us deal with them cunningly. And one of the things, one, one of the things they did was to pro program hardship, set up task for them to work hard and not get the commercial result for their hard work. Which led to hardship, which led to pain. And the Bible says in, uh, in chapter 2, verse 23 to 22 to 24 the bible says that they cried out due to harsh due to hard labor due to to the to the to the to the pressure that they, they were going through and the bible says, and god heard their cry hallelujah why would they cry when they have the energy to to, to walk they have energy to walk but they were not enjoying the fruit of their labor. If there's anything that the devil attacks in a man's life, is to attack the fruit of his labor. He won't tell you not to work hard. He will even give you energy. But at the end of the day, there's nothing to show for it. There are too many people who work and have nothing to show for it. That account for the hardship that you see spread around all over the world. That's why you find that few are rich. Too many people. Is it because those who are rich and wealthy, they work harder than those who are poor? No. In fact, when you look at it clinically very closely, you will discover that the people, that the rich people, wealthy people don't even work as hard. As hard as the people who are downtrodden. Somebody wake up early. He's, he's distracted. Carrying one thing on that, going up and down at the end of the day, there's nothing. Comes back, will lead you or nothing at the end of the day. Because 
is working hard and there's nothing to show. Hallelujah. And God said to them, when he said to them in, 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 Gen, in Exodus chapter 20, Exodus chapter 3, verse 20, 21, the Bible says, he said to Moses, he said, he said, I will deliver them from the hand of the Egyptians. He said, and I will also, he said, I will stretch out my hand and smite Egypt with all my wonders, which, do, which I will do in the midst thereof. And after, he will let them go. Now, this was at the onset. This was what God was telling Moses before he even left the wilderness, left the desert to go to, to meet Pharaoh, to confront Pharaoh. But in verse 21, he said, I will not just deliver them because for you to be delivered, for devils to be casted and cast out of you and without money in your hand, those devils can come back home. Because when there's no money, he will introduce so many things to you. Hallelujah. There's a level that God prosper you, even demons will be afraid of you. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray today that God will prosper you. In the name of Jesus, we break every hardship, financial hardship in your life, that even the demons will respect you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And he said, and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. That means they have been empty. How are they not to are they going to go full by making sure he break the power of hardship that make them to walk and not see results? Hallelujah. And how is he gonna do that? By making sure. By making sure that he give them sight in the he giving they give them favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Favor has a way of turning your turning your fortune around instantly. Just find favor. There are people who will see you. They have everything that can change your life, but because you are not finding favor in their sight, they tell you remain where you are. And I pray today that God will grant you that favor. In the name of Jesus. He said, I will give them. I will not just set them free empty-handed. I will deliver them from Pharaoh. If they deliver them from Pharaoh, hunger is waiting for them. And hunger can come to a point that they, they will begin to complain and murmur and curse God. And what will God do when somebody is cursing him? He will allow the devil to deal with him. So the devil he has been delivered from before will come back full time. Because God is the one now that is sending him. Because, because they have no honor for God. But what God for, for, for God to prove for God to, to prevent that, the Bible says that I will give them favor in the sight of the Egyptians so that they will not go empty-handed. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. You will not go empty-handed. I say you will not go empty this year. You will not go empty this year. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. There are people who's, who have been denied promotion for years. Maybe eight years, maybe 10 years, maybe 12 years. And suddenly, they found favor in the side of one boss. Somebody was sharing a testimony sometimes ago. He said he had, he said his boss vowed that he was not going to promote him because he refused to do certain things for him. He said, as long as I remain your boss, I will, not, I will not recommend you for promotion. No promotion for you. One day, their superior came. The chief of security came visiting the place. And he saw him, and by the time he was, he just struck to his, to his office and asked him a few questions, which helped the organization mightily, just like Joseph gave idea to Pharaoh. And he called his boy. He said, he said, why is this person still here? He's so he's too intelligent to be in this position. When was he last promoted? He said, eight years. He said, bring his fire immediately. And only discovered that it was eight years ago. He said, backdated it to that time. And they backdated it. And he was given promotion and paid eight years arrears. Instantly, he built a house from tenant to becoming a landlord. What a promotion. How did that happen?
by finding favor in the sight of the superior boss. And who signed the promotion? The one who said, I will not promote you. When you find favor in the sight of God, even people that stand, they stand to resist you will be the one that God will use to assist you. I, I think I'm talking to myself here. Glory to God. So shall be your portion. I say, so shall be your portion. In the name of Jesus. He said, it shall come to pass that when ye go, that you will not go empty-handed. It, it has come to pass that today you will not go empty-handed. You will not remain empty-handed. In the name of Jesus. I say we not remain empty-handed. Hallelujah. How did thou come? Thou favor broke the, the hardness in the heart of Pharaoh and the Egyptians to release to them what is due them. There are things that are due you, but the, those who are holding it, those who are supposed to be, supposed to be custodians, those, are the, those who God has sent to assist you, they are holding it because the devil has hardened their heart. Like Pharaoh's heart was hardened by God. No wonder he increased their labor. He didn't increase their income. There are people whose labor have been increased. Their struggle and toiling have been increased. But income is not increased. That is hardship. Hallelujah. Every ship that is carrying hardness to your life in the name of Jesus to deliver, that ship shall catch fire. That's why it's called hardship. Because it is sheep that carry hardness. Glory to God. That vessel, that vehicle that is carrying hardness of life to your life, it shall die by fire. I say it shall scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. I say it shall scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. So breaking financial hardship is for you to receive favor, to enjoy the favor of God, not to endure favor. Many people today are enduring favor. Is I mean enduring labor instead of enjoying favor. They are two different things. Hallelujah. They're just walking. They're just walking. Just like the Bible says of Moses. The Bible says he was content to remain. He was content to remain with the priest of Midian. It was, it was just, it was fine for him. Content. And the man gave him a wife. Said, gave him a wife, that means you are not living here. But God came down. Hallelujah. I don't know what I'll be giving to you to tie you down. In the name of Jesus, to tie you where you are. Because you are enjoying your service. Because you are enjoying your labor. But... They don't want you to enjoy the commensurate reward. I pray in the name of Jesus. That power shall be broken in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Favor can take you to another level. Favor is the weapon that breaks hardship in life. When you have favor of God and favor of men, hardship cannot find its place in your life. You labor less and earn more. That will be your portion. I said that will be your portion. I said that will be your portion. I said that will be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And God told them, he said, tell them. Nezal chapter 12. He said, tell them to borrow, not a few. There are people, even when they have good ideas, good idea, business idea that could prosper them, and there are people that know that if you if they have this if they are granted this money they will be able to do this business or do that carry out that idea and it brings so much wealth and money to them but the enemy ensures that that money does not flow to them to carry out that business there are people no matter how much they go through nobody even nobody even help them with money or borrow them any money Meanwhile, there are people that are begging, come and borrow money. Hallelujah. They enjoy favor everywhere. Even money for free to do one thing or the other. In the same land, where people are hard up, but some people are enjoying tremendous wealth. 
I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, you shall be counted among those who enjoy tremendous wealth. I say you shall be counted among those enjoying wealth. In the name of Jesus. That everybody will see that this is the hand of the Lord. This is God helping this one. Hallelujah. When the favor of God is upon you, no, you can't you can experience hardness. Yes, work hard. It is good to work hard. But working hard, working hard minus result is hardship. In the name of Jesus, favor shall be added to every work you do. That's why the Bible says, I will prosper whatsoever you laid your hand to do. Whatever you lay your hand to do from now on will prosper. What does it mean to, for God to prosper? That means God will cause it to multiply. God will cause it to increase. Hallelujah. Cause it to increase. It, 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 cause it to leap in bounds. There are powers that cause hardship. That make sure that no matter how much you walk, you don't get what is due you. Just like Pharaoh. To the children of Israel, when they require to go and serve God, some people are angry with you because you are a Christian. Every time he's talking about, every time church, every time Christian, every time who allow you to hear what. And so they increase, they make things hard and difficult for you because they are in position. I pray in the name of Jesus, anyone that is in position, that is directly and, up, and, and remotely manipulating and oppressing you today shall be exposed and die by fire in the name of Jesus I said shall be exposed and die by fire in the name of Jesus hallelujah glory to God hallelujah said I will cause them to find favor may God cause you to find favor favor shall flow in your life today you shall be covered with favor in the name of Jesus. But what did what did God say? He said, I will stretch forth my hand. First and foremost, to strike, to break them, to weaken them. Because if God did not weaken them, weaken them, break them, he did great wonders. He said, and I will stretch out my hand and smite Egypt with all my wonders. I'm not going to hold back. I'm not going to withhold any wonder. I'm going to do great things that will break their heart, that we met them. There are people that are unbreakable. No matter what you do, they remain stiff and difficult and hard. But when God stretched forth his hand, when God stretched forth his hand, they will be meted. Hallelujah. And he said, and I will do wonders in the midst of them. And after that, they will let you go. After God has done the last, he said, go and meet them now. Because at this time around, they are now like jellies. Hallelujah. They are now like what? Jellies. Their heart was no longer hard again. Because all that God was doing, all those wonders, all those, all those attack, all those breaking the Egypt, what he was doing was to was to let them know that the Israelite has a God. At the point, the lords, the lords, and all the the lords and all the and and all the magicians told Pharaoh, let these people go. Please let them go because we are done for it. They were afraid of the God of Israel. They were afraid a people yesterday that they were trampling upon. They saw how things were happening in their lives and God was protecting them. They saw God, they saw that their God was fighting for them. I pray that those who have made up their mind, those who have had in their heart against you, they will see that God is working for you. In the name of Jesus. When people see that God is working for you, anything you ask them, they will give you. Hallelujah. Because their heart is broken. They say, ah, this one that we, this one that God is protecting like this. Let us see how we can help them, so that we too can benefit from them. The truth that every man needs God, no matter even the devil needs God. Hallelujah! These 
are people who are lorded, who have lorded over the children of Israel for such a long time, for years, centuries. And the Israelites and the, and the Israelites were, were looked up, looked down upon. They were despised. When you are looking for menial things, when you are looking for things, when, when they are, you are looking for people to use to play football, you go and call them. They were, they were valueless. They were not even recognized as citizens. As, as human beings, they were seen as object of mockery, object of labor, things you just used to, just go count, use, come and carry, us, carry all this rubbish for us. They were not ready to do anything. I went to a particular country. I met some, uh, I met some Nigerians. They will walk and walk and walk and walk because there is policy in that country is that they will not give them documents. And if you don't have documents, that means you can't really work you, you can't really be employed in a place that you can earn good money. And so they employ them to do all manner of things. But they will not even pay them. Come and bath my dog. Praise God. Somebody's dog died. And every day, the, 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 the boss will tell, tell her to go and start looking at the grave. And check whether it's well with the dog that is already dead. When she has no work, what are you doing? Have you been to that grave and see? That my beautiful dog that died. Go and check, go and clean the grave. She has no choice. Did all manner of things. She will iron, she will cook, she will clean, do all kinds of things. She was content with it. After all, one day they will pay me. Hallelujah. But one day, one day God visited the land. And we pronounce upon her, pronounce upon her land that from today, the government policy will change. And documents will be released. And they all where documents all of them are fiam, fiam, like rats that have been caged. Going to different nations. Hallelujah. Not doing job that was available, but just of job of choice. When there are oppression, you have no option. When you are sentenced to hard labor, you have no option but to work hard and, and get nothing for it at the end of the day. Why? Because there is a power. I pray for you today. In the name of Jesus, every power that makes you to endure hardness, hardship, in the name of Jesus, that power shall die by fire. You will be free today. I pray that God will stretch forth his hand. The mighty hand of God will be stretched forth today. In the name of Jesus. And disciples were praying in Acts chapter 4, from, from 29 to, uh, to 30. The Bible says, as they, they came together uh, in their own company and talked to God and said, Stretch forth thy hand, stretch forth thy finger to do wonders. Hallelujah. Because they were given the only option. Don't come and mention the name of Jesus here. They said, we cannot survive without making the name, of, the name of Jesus because it is in the name of Jesus that we gain favor. Hallelujah. And they pray, say, by stretching forth thy hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done. But before the mention of the name of Jesus, we end them prison. But when God stretched forth their hand, nobody look for them again. I pray for you. God will stretch forth his hand. On your behalf in the name of Jesus I said God will stretch forth his hand in the name of Jesus on your behalf in the name of Jesus to silence every oppressor every power that determined to make life hard and difficult every power that decided to make life hard and make you to go through hardship today hardship is ending I say financial hardship is ending in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, so shall it be. Hallelujah. When do you know you are going through financial hardship? When you walk and you are not getting to what is due. Hallelujah. But when you are enjoying financial abundance, financial favor, you do little, you get more than what you have. I pray that whatever you lay your hand to do this year, you will get extra. I think I'm talking to myself here. Hallelujah. I say you get extra. In the name of Jesus, when you are expecting one million, suddenly you will see five million land on your account. 
in the name of Jesus. What happened? But we thought, I mean, you, but this is how much you have been paying me before. No. I mean, you have seen that you deserve more than this. One made them not to see before because the God of this world has blinded their eyes. In the name of Jesus, God of heaven will open their eyes to see your worth, to see your value. In the name of Jesus, to give you what is due you. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. I said, so shall it be. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When do you know you are going through financial hardship? When you, de- when you look for money to do certain things that others are doing, your colleagues, and you can't find that money doing it. You ask for money. Nobody, when you find yourself in difficult situation, somebody wrote one day, he said, when you find yourself in a difficult situation, if, for example, now you need one million naira, do you have friends that can easily bring that money for you? Hallelujah. You find yourself in a difficult situation and nobody is coming to ask you. Nobody is sending you any, any financial help. It is financial hardship. Glory to God. The Bible says, before they call, I will answer. There are people before they even ask for money, money is available for them. Even before what they, before, even be, beyond the what they required. Hallelujah. You find yourself floating in money. Never lack money. Money is supposed to, money is supposed to follow you, not you running after money. From today, a favor that will make money to be attracted to you. Receive in the name of Jesus. I say receive in the name of Jesus. Every financial hardship in your life today is broken. I say it's going to break now. It's breaking now. I say it's breaking now. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray? And the disciples prayed. Say, stretch forth your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when the Egyptians, when the Israelites prayed, God came down and heard their cry. The Bible said they cried by the reason of the bondage that was put upon them. And God had their cry. He came to do one thing. One, break the power of the oppressors that make life difficult. And two, sh- cause them to find favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Two things are going to happen today. In the name of Jesus, as you pray. Two things are going to happen to you. In the name of Jesus, those powers, those men, those people whose heart have been hardened against you and have refused to release what is due you, God is going to mend their heart in the name of Jesus. Number two, they are going to see that God is working for you. They are going to see that God is on your side. Number three, God is going to cause you to find favor in their sight. These three things are going to happen in this service in the name of Jesus. And this is what breaks financial hardship. Hallelujah. When financial hardship is broken, you will be receiving money in sheep. <laughs> Instead of receiving hardship in sheep. Hallelujah. Hardship. Hardship. That is sheep carrying eh? hardness. That sheep, that vessel will scatter now. Amen. Somebody say every vessel carrying hardness. Carrying hardness on its way to my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, my life is not a depot. My life is not a pot. You cannot deliver. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and we pray. I can hear you pray that prayer. Mele proseke pa, open your mouth and pray that prayer. Lift up your voice and pray. Le rakapa, every power. Hardness in the name of Jesus, hardness of life to my life in the name of Jesus, carry hardness to my family 
in the name of Jesus. Oh, we are praying. Le rapa se ke pale masakapa. I cannot hear you praying. Je le pros ke pale makapa. Oh, we are praying. Le rapa le se ke pa. I can hear somebody praying now. Le ramala kapa se ke pa. Every form of hardship in my life. Oh, we are praying that prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lift up and say, every form of financial hardship in my life expire now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I'm going to pray that prayer. I can hear you pray. I cannot hear you pray. Jala rapa se ke pa la kapa. Jena prate le po se ke pa. Opu ya mana pray. Le rapa le se ke pa. Jela rapa. Opu ya mana pray. Le rapa shapa. Lift up your voice and pray. Eraka. Every form of financial hardship in any area of my life. Opu ya mana pray. Every form of financial hardship in any area of my life is more end today. Opu ya mana pray. Let the hardship lift up your voice. Meli prosekepa, ella rabba sakapa. Opu ya mana pray? Every form of hardship in the name of Jesus. That I'm experiencing. Let it expire now. Opu ya mana pray? Every form of financial hardship that I'm experiencing now in the name of Jesus expire by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Opu ya mana pray? Let it expire in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. In Jesus' mighty name, pray. And he said, I will stretch forth my hand and smite Egypt with all my wonders. Open him and say, Father, stretch forth your mighty hand. Smite every power causing me financial hardship. Lift up your voice and pray. Meli kapa, jele kapa, stretch forth your mighty hand. Smite, oh God. Smite, oh God. Let him smite, oh God. Oh, we are going to pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Smite, oh God. Lift up your voice and pray. Smite, oh God. Smite, oh God. Smite, oh God. Oh, we are going to pray. Smite, oh God. Stretch forth your hand. Smite, oh God. Smite, oh God. Smite, oh God. Maraca. Every power causing me financial hardship. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Every power causing me financial hardship. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. This, that power causing me financial hardship. Lift up your voice and pray. Let the power. Lord, smite that power now. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Erakapa, jelly prosekepa, every power causing me financial hardship, causing me financial hardship, causing my family, causing my family lineage, financial hardship. Oh God, smite them now, smite them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Oh, we are gonna pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Every power. Simeon, financial hardship in the name of Jesus. Le rapa le jacapa. Oh, we are gonna pray. El rasa kata. El raka. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lift up and say every every channel of financial flow into my life. Every blockage of channel of financial flow into my life. Open now by fire. Let the channel be open. The channel of financial flow. The channel of money to flow into my life. Lift up your voice and pray. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Lift up your voice and pray. Zeri pale pose ke pa na bakataya. Lift up your voice and pray. Ela rapale se ke pa. Jela rapakati ya malala pakati re makataya. Open your mouth and pray. Jembrose ke pa la kase, jela kapa, era kapa, opu ya mana prena, le ra kapa, le kapa, every blockage to financial flow into my life, every blockage to financial flow into my life, let it be open 
up now. In the name of Jesus, open on, open on, open on. Whatever is blocking my financial flow, from, that is blocking money from flowing into my life. Whatever is standing on my capa, jele capa, tele casa, erra brele capa, open your mind up. Whatever is blocking it, lift up your voice. Let that blockage be open now. Let that blockage be open now. Let that blockage be open now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Finally, I'm going to pray, say, Father. I can't just say, Father. This is what meant and dissolve every financial hardship. When God show you favor. Hallelujah. And I want you to pray with everything that you have inside of you. Lift up yourself, Father. In the name of Jesus, cause me to find favor. Cause me to find favor with what, with, with whatever is holding monies that are due me. In the name of Jesus, both the ones I know and the ones I don't know. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, cause me to find favor before I ask. Let them give me my kappa. Cause me to find favor. My Kasaka, lift up your voice. Le rapa le zeke pa, open your mouth. Lord, cause me now to find favor. Le rapa katele maka, cause me to find favor. 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 With whoever that is holding my money, holding money that are due me, cause me to find favor. Le rapa pa, je le kapa, le rapa katele ma. Lord, cause me to find favor. Well, I come with whoever is holding my financial abundance, that is holding my money. Lord, cause me to find favor in the sign. Lord, I pray now. Cause me to find favor. The Santa Rapaleka, Jela Prateleka. Lift up your voice and pray. Father, cause me to find favor with whoever is holding my money. Marakapa, Jarakapa. Whether I know them or not. Whether I know them or not. Lord, cause me to find favor in their side, in their side. Cause me to find favor. Open your mouth and pray. Le Raprata la Sakapa. Lift up your voice and pray. Jele kapa, repa tele kapa, cause me to find favor. Era kapa, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let me tell you, the monies that, or whatever that the children of, I mean that the Egyptians gave the Israelites, we are monies that they have duly worked for. Remember, they have worked all the years, and they will not pay their commensurate. Income. Am I talking to somebody? Hallelujah. So God has to cause favor so that they can recover. You see, people can owe you and they had in their heart, will pay. Go and do whatever you like. Eh? Until God met their heart. Praise God. The Bible said the wicked owes and do not pay. Eh? <laughs> he owes. He knows the money is due to you. But when that wickedness is broken, it will call you and say, come and collect. Hallelujah. I'm sure that's why God made them to draw in the right red sea. Because they will still be thinking it's their own. So because somebody says, God not wicked, how can it cost me to borrow money? I will not pay. They had work for it. Hallelujah. And what they gave them was, what was due them plus interest. You didn't hear what I said. Hallelujah. You are getting what is due you all these years. For labor, you got nothing for. I told you earlier, hard work without result is hardship. That means there is a vessel walking in the high sea to deliver hardness to your life. But that vehicle has been destroyed now. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a, a ship that is carrying favor. And it's already in your port. Amen. Take delivery. I'm I said take delivery. I'm take delivery. I'm a ship load of favor. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of 
Jesus. Amen. You are going to bless the Father. Every walk, every labor that I've labored anywhere, labor anywhere. I've not got the commensurate compensation. Wherever it is, with interest, with interest, I say with interest, let it be delivered. I recover now by fire. Lift up your voice. I recover. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, every Egyptian master that you are worked for, both the ones who can remember you and you don't remember, that you are labor for, and that energy was given by God, and God is not a waster. He can't give you energy and you go and labor and you don't get the reward for it. He said, remember, I'm he that giveth the power to make wet. That means give you power to work hard so that your goods can increase. I pray for you now. Every Egyptian tax master that you are labor for anywhere, anytime, they are not giving you what is due you. I command in the name of Jesus, let them release it now. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the favor that we make their heart, we receive it now. Let that favor, let that favor make their heart now. In the name of Jesus, the wonders that God will strike in their life, that we make them to know that God is with you. I pray now, in the name of Jesus, let the hand of the Lord strike forth and smite them now. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Oh.